I got a gas tank cover set up. This is a V Rod Harley that I've had. It had a dent in it, and so we replaced it. But uh, I went ahead and fixed the dent. And then I painted it black. And then I took the metal jewels and I sprayed two light coats over top of that. And I sprayed four coats of red candy on it. And uh, actually, I'll spray some wax and grease remover on it so you can see it. But uh, it's gorgeous. I'll get a um, close up color um, view of this so you can see the color. And um, I'm going to lay some graphic design. This is actually the design I'm going to put on it. I'm going to lay that out. I'm going to start laying out the main pattern, and that's this main one right here. It goes around clear to here. I'm going to lay it out first, and then I'm going to lay the second one where it will intertwine, and I'll cut the edges where everything goes in and out of it, and then the third one. And the third one's this over here. There's actually only two here, and they intertwine back and forth, so I'll lay it out and show you as I go. What I'm using is 8 inch blue fine line. You can buy all these products at uh, Coast Airbrush. That's where I get all my products. So let's go ahead and lay this out. I'm going to actually turn the camera to this side so I can stand over here so you can okay. see it. I'm going to take, I'm going to bring this design across the tank like this. So I'll start my first part right here, and that's going to be my inside line. And then this is where we're going to start wrapping this one around. Because I'm going to do probably a skull in the center of this. I like that. Let's tear these tips off here. Get them out of our way. Now we're going to start the main part. Come about like that. Stop right there. And then about the same width, we're going to go ahead and follow this design, starting out here and then it will go narrow. And just keep looking at your design. All right in here, we'll stop this one. We're going to hook it back and it's going to come right up alongside the same design. And this is going to come back and join the very end where that tip is. Let's get these out right there. I like that. Now, these pieces here that come off this way and go this way and this way, I can add those now, or we can, well, actually, that's this next one. I'm talking about this one. This is the main beam. We can add these now and then the other ones. So we got one going back. And keep about the same distance right here. And then I'm going to hook it back in right here. Now my original design, I have this point coming to here. I I kind of drew it out another time and I like the way that I had it this original time which comes here and then goes right back. So now it leaves this as a, as a circle. Then taking this one and bringing it back to a spike. And it kind of fills in a little more. Now I'm going to go back in and cut all these out. Um, I'm going to spray it all one color. We're probably going to spray it silver. And then I'm going to go back in and start beveling all the edges on this. And when I do that, that's when I'll start doing all the crossovers. And I'll show you all the, that in detail. You can see I got transfer paper on it. And now I took a crayon, went around all the edges and marked them. So now I'm going to take a razor blade, go in and cut all these lines now out. Now the silver's all spread out. And I'm going to take a little bit of white. And I'm just going to do a couple highlights across these. And then we're going to start intertwining them, and that's when I'm going to start beveling all the edges. Just follow your same lines. And then we're going to take this piece, this mast off there, and we're going to protect that from getting overspray on it by doing this. 
right there. Then we're going to do the same thing on this and part so right what I'll here. Is get my black, and I'm not going to spray it solid. I'm just going to mist it over top where that line is to begin with. Here's my black I'm spraying. I'm going to spray it about like that. Just getting it to cover that line just barely. Now from that point I'm going to go in from, that's about as dark as I'm going to go right there. Now I'm going to start doing some streaks back and forth in it. Even though a shadow wouldn't have streaks in it, this is how I'm going to do it because I'm up against a, a dark surface here. I want this to stand out. Then we're going to get a straight edge and I'm going to bevel each corner. In fact, I'll just use my piece of paper I got right here for now. And the darker side would be at the bottom here, so we'll match the points up. And spray it like that. Now I'm going to do every single edge. I've on already this ran this line here. This is going to be my, my white one. So this has to be an individual that goes like this. And then this is one that goes here and then up. So I'm going to run this one from that point like this, just following this line, giving yourself a little bit of a um, gap there on the sides because that's where my bevel edge is going to go and just keep following the same contour. Spray this, outline it. Outline it right there. Then I'm going to go ahead and create a hot spot right here in your corner. some more hot spots here. Make sure you go all the way down to the tip. Okay, now let's take our black. I'm going to go from this corner. Now I'm going to make this corner right here blacker. Now I'm going to lightly mist them all like we did. Now keeping in mind where our light source is, this is the bottom side. So our black's going to come down around to about in here. And then down in here it's going to start turning into white because the bevel's going to start going this way. So let's establish let's this mask. See what we got. Just noticed we didn't uh, go over this one right here and shadow it. So since I don't have everything unmasked, let's go ahead and shadow this one really quick. you were thinking when you uh, didn't do that. Okay, it was my fault. It happens. 